In the last lecture, we learned how to access DOM elements from our JavaScript code using getElementById method and querySelector method. Now, once we have access to the DOM element, we can change its properties and style. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how to change the attribute value of an HTML element from JavaScript as well as how to change the styling of the HTML element dynamically from our JavaScript code. Let's go to VS Code. And here, let's first learn how we can change the attribute value of an HTML element. For that, what I'm going to do is, if I scroll down in this web page, here I have created this form, this EMI calculator form, and below that I also have this apply for loan form. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's use this apply for loan form, and there we have these input elements. So what I want is, I will select one of these input elements, and we will change the attribute value of that input element. So for example, let's take this first name input element. So let's go to index.html there. Let's scroll down. So in this HTML, we have three sections. The first section is this section. I'm calling it as home section. The second section is this EMI calculator section. And the third section is this apply for loan section. So here we are in the EMI calculator section and this is apply for loan section. So let me change this name. Okay, and here we have our first name input element. Now, every input element has a value attribute. So what I can do is, I can go ahead and I can add a value attribute on this and I can set a value for this input element. For example, let's say first name is John. If I save the changes and if I refresh the page, you will see in this first name input element, the value is John. And what I want is from the JavaScript, I will access this input element and there I will change the value of this value attribute. For that, let's go to our JavaScript code. And again, I'm going to use document.querySelector method. Okay. And here for this input element, let's see if we have specified any ID. So here we have this fname ID. Let me copy this fname ID. And here we are going to use that ID to access the first name input element. And since we are using query selector and we want to use this query selector to access an HTML element using its ID, we need to use a pound before it. Okay. And this here, it is going to return us this first name input element as an object. On that object, we will have this value attribute as a property. So what I can do is I can access that property on the object, which this expression will return. So here I can simply say, dot value equals let's say we want to change the name to mark so now if i save the changes you will see that now this first name is storing this value mark because when this index.html file was loaded at that time the value was john but after the index.html file here below we are also calling this script.js file so after this index.html file has been loaded, it is also going to execute the JavaScript code in this script.js file. And at that time, we are changing the value of this first name input element to mark. So that's why you're seeing mark here. So in this way, we can access any attribute of an HTML element as a property on that HTML element. So in the DOM, that HTML element will be created as an object. On that object, its attributes will be created as its properties. And we will see some of the examples of changing the attribute value of an HTML element dynamically from the JavaScript code in our coming lectures. But at least now I hope that you know how to change the attribute value of an HTML element dynamically from JavaScript code. Okay, what you can also do is you can assign the object which this expression will return to a variable. For example, let me create a variable here. I'll call it as input. Okay, and on that input, so instead of writing this expression here, I'll cut it from here. And then you can say input and then on that you can access the value property and change its value. So this code is a little bit cleaner. So I would suggest you to use this approach. All right. Next, we are also going to see how we can change the style of an HTML element dynamically from our JavaScript code. So in the last lecture, I showed you the style property on the paragraph object. And this style property is present on all the DOM objects. So we are going to make use of that style property to change the 
CSS style of some web page elements. So here I'm going to comment these two lines of code. And now what I want is here we have a banner and for this banner I am changing its background color from CSS code. So let me go to style.css. Let's open that as well. And in here, if I scroll down, here I have home page banner. And there I am setting the background color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this line here. I'm not going to set the background color from CSS. If I save the changes, you will see that background color has been removed. And now I'm going to add a background color to this from our JavaScript code. So first we will have to access this banner. So in the index.html, if I scroll up, here we have that div which is displaying that banner and its class is home page banner. So I'm going to access this div using this class name. So in the script.js file, I'll say document.query selector. And to this, I'm going to pass that CSS class. And since we are passing a CSS class, we also need to use dot before it and it is going to just return us the banner div so i'm going to create a variable i'll call it as banner div and now this banner div it is going to store this div as an object so for this div in the dom an object will be created and that object will be assigned to this banner div and on that object the object which we are storing in this banner div there we will have a style property and on that style property, we are going to set the background color. So when you use JavaScript for setting the CSS style, keep in mind that if that CSS style contains only one word, in that case, all the letters of that word will be in lowercase. But if it contains more than one word, in that case, for the first word, all the letters will be in lowercase. And from the second word, the first letter of each word will be in uppercase. For example, this CSS style background color, it has two words, background and color. So for the first word, for this background, everything is in lowercase. But for the second word, this first letter is in uppercase. So this is how we specify CSS style in JavaScript. We don't use hyphen or underscore or anything like that here in JavaScript. Okay, so I'm going to set this background color to light orange. So I'll copy this color from here and this color it is going to be a string value so we are passing this color as string with this if i save the changes you will see that the background color is again set and in this way you can set any style using this style property so on this style property you can call any style and you can set a new value for it so for example let's go ahead and let's also set the color for that div so let me copy this line and let's say here I want to set the text color to matte black. For that, the color code is 2828 to B. If I save the changes, now the text color has changed to matte black. If I change it to red, the text color in this div will be in red. As you can see. Okay. But here I'm going to change it back to matte black. So this is how you can change the CSS style dynamically from your JavaScript code by accessing the style property and on that style property, you will have other style properties which you can assign a value to set the CSS style. So this was about setting the CSS style dynamically from your JavaScript code. I'll comment this code and let me go to style.css and let me uncomment this background color which we are setting for that div. All right. Now we can also dynamically add or remove a CSS class from an HTML element. So, for example, let's again take an example of this div, this home page banner div. On this div, we have added the CSS class home page banner. Now, let's say from our JavaScript code, we want to remove this CSS class. For that, all we have to do is again, first of all, we will have to access that HTML element. So, let me uncomment this line where we are accessing this banner div using this query selector. And on that, on that banner div, we are going to call a property class list. 
and on this class list this is also an object where we are going to have a method called remove and here we can pass the name of the class which we want to remove from this banner div currently on this banner div we have only one class this home page banner class so it has only one class but an html element can have multiple css classes i hope you already know this but currently for this div we have only one class this home page banner so let's say i want to remove that css class from that div i can remove that css class using this remove method on this class list object if i save the changes you will see that all the styles which we had added on that div has been removed so this is how you can remove an existing css class from an html element now if you want to add a css class then what you need to do is so again let me copy this line so at this line we are removing the css class in the next line let's go ahead and let's add it back so for that you can use add method and if i save the changes that css class is back so at this line we remove that css class and at this line we are adding that css class back so here in this way we can add or remove a css class from an html element dynamically using the add and remove method of class list and all these concepts which you are learning here we are going to see the practical use of them in the future lectures and let me also show you that when we are removing or adding a class it is also going to remove and add it in the dom so for example let's go to elements so this is the div home page banner now currently let me go ahead and let me comment this line where we are adding that home page banner again if i save the changes on that div you will not see any css class now you see that css class has been removed but if i go ahead and if i uncomment this in that case you will see that that css class has been added so when we are adding or removing the css class dynamically it is also going to change it in the dom same thing is true when we are setting the css style dynamically so when we set css style dynamically that is also going to reflect in the dom it is going to change the dom and that's why you see those changes in the web page all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions related to this lecture or from the previous lectures then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day